Hold on, hold on, hold on. Good morning, Narcissal Nation. It is another beautiful, gorgeous day here in South Florida. Today we are going deep sea fishing in our flats boat. Super excited, special guest on the boat today. Yeah, the guys haven't seen her in a very long time. Megan, she just got back from, hey you guys. She just got back from the world race. So she was on a mission trip around the world for a long time. So we're pretty excited to have her on the boat. Really excited to get on her on some fish today. And uh, we're about to roll out the inlet. So let's do this. So we're out here in the Lake Worth Inlet and we are out here in a known spot right in front of the pier. What's the name? Juno Pier. Juno Pier. And we are catching bait. I'm using my sabiki and Brian is de-hooking them for me. And every time I drop them to the bottom, it's about 30 feet of water, I hook up on a stringer of bait, which is exactly what we need for today. So watch this. It's running a beautiful filter. All right, Megan's on big duty. The Tsunami bait de-hooker. And all the, all the fishing products that you guys see me use, like what Megan's using in my rods and whatnot, you can find them on my Amazon store. So check that out in the description below. All right, so we know you love to catch bait. Can we go fishing yet? In a second? All right, you might want to catch more bait. She loves catching bait so much, she's going to let me go fishing. And we're going to tell you guys why, you know, last week was the last first time in four years we didn't have a video. And uh, it's because Darcy's dad was in the hospital and some other things. So we're going to tell you all about that coming up real soon. Megan is catching a fish. We literally just came to the fishing spot out here on the Juno Ledge out of the Lake Worth Inlet. And sure enough, as soon as we parked, we saw sharks right by the boat. They're coming to the boat because they can hear the sound of the engine. So they're already curious, they're already aggressive first thing in the morning. She's got a fish right here, and I'm hoping we can get it boat side before the sharks get it. Oh, oh he got sharks, he got sharks, he gave chase. Oh. I got him, you got, got him. I don't know what how I did hell? that. Oh that was my nuts. God. <laughs> he was going like, it like, she, it like jumped up and you he was going it. like really, really fast directly under the boat. And I was just like, that I'm going shark for is about it. To and get I, it. I managed to get him fairly in the tail right Woo! there. So that's a solid bonita. We probably didn't set our drag correctly this morning, so we fought him a little longer than we would have liked. But there was literally three sharks chasing him to the boat. So crazy we caught a fish today. Let's get some more. Don't do this. Don't hold your bail. Don't hold your bail. Don't hold I'm your bail. I'm going because of sharks. He's prime shark bait right I now. <laughs> <laughs> Brian! Oh, I almost lost his shoe! <laughs> Can I wear my shoes? Watch your feet, watch your shoe, watch your foot! Oh, it's, it's, it's not even he's close gonna, to my foot! Gonna, holy shit, watch out! <laughs> Guggen's out here today! Guggen's! This line is totally has a fish on it too, we gotta reel it up and check it. Brian's catching his next fish! Well, third fish in the boat, Brian's hooked up! See, let's see if we can get it in before the sharks! Talk to the camera! Woohoo! <laughs> I gotta tighten this drag. Come on, Dugan. Sharks. There's sharks. I know, they're all chasing. Deep color. So fast. That was kind of weird, yeah, but that works. All right. Woo. The solid bonitas out here today. You can see that these guys are at least a solid 8, 10 pounds. But that seems to be the school size around today. We want to get on some other fish, but they are just eating up every bait that we put out. Like a minute later, it gets smoked by a bonita. So we're going to try to drop some to the bottom, maybe get some kingfish or some bottom fish. But we are just battling sharks today. It's a matter of who can get to the bait, to, to the fish faster. The sharks are us. King. Nice king. Check out this solid king. Oh, he just popped right off the stinger rig. Nice. Solid kingfish in the boat. I don't know how we managed to get him past the sharks, but we did. Brian just caught him. That was awesome. And uh, that's a solid smoker. That's a, that's a nice 15, 20 pound kingfish. Yeah. Check out those uh, very, very sharp teeth. Woo! And I just got whacked in the head. Right, I'm not down. doing that. Jeez. That is a fish. That just smoked that new Maxell reel. And these are basically, these reels are made for South Florida fishing for high, high, re, high speed retrieval, mainly for catching kingfish and sailfish here in South Florida. So it's pretty sweet. We're testing them out. And this is the Ocean Max OMS 10. So let's, I'm gonna think I'm gonna have Megan try to fight it. See if she can get it in. Let's see if I can walk to the front here. Oh, 
There you go. Perfect. All right. Fish on. What up? Dive boats yelling at their sizzle. That's pretty cool. But we're catching a ton of fish today, having a lot of fun. Just bring it up as fast as you possibly can, Megan. I am. She's doing a good job. Doing a good job for not having a lot of practice fishing lately. But we are killing it out here. And I've seen a lot of rainbows runners around and those are actually really delicious fish to eat. So I'm really gonna see if I can do my best to catch one and show it to you guys. Cause they're so pretty and so cool to look at. Here he comes. Woo! That's an angry kingfish. Oh, double line just went off. Oh, he's running. Keep lying down. He's so close, Megan, real. You gotta get him up, Come on, Megan. Come on, Megan, we gotta get him, we gotta get him. To the boat, to the boat, to the boat. I don't know. Throwing a bucket to the rock. Go, go, go. Zap got bail open. I am. How do you release it? Oh I'm down. God. Man down. Jesus Christ. There's <laughs> freaking blood. There's wow. blood everywhere. There's blood everywhere. Really sharp. Really, really sharp. Left hand gas. All right. Woo. Too many bonitas and kings. Let's get a change up now. We got our workout today. Go, go, go. Sorry. Keep, try not to let the line touch the boat if it goes under the boat. But pump them up. How you doing, Meg? I'm doing good. Trying to catch this fish right now. Follow your fish. Can you, can you swing them in? Yeah. Oh, nice. Oh. <laughs> Good job. All right, guys. We have got a score of fish behind us, including monster pig, bull sharks, and dusky sharks, sandbar sharks. Check him out. They actually see this bonita here on the edge. He wants it. So we're going to go ahead and play with them a little bit and uh, feed them, basically, with a rope tied on to the tail of the bonita we caught earlier. So here we go. Let's throw it out. Oh, that scared him. He's hungry, he's hungry, he's hungry, he's hungry. He's all letting go, he's just gonna go. Ah! Oh, all right, I'm done with that. Look, there goes the Benita. He just burned the whole, my whole hand. Ow. I guess, she, I guess this is not the shark wrestler we thought she was. I almost went in, you can't do it on a black boat. Yes, you can, I didn't fall in. You gotta learn how to handle the sharks a little better. Here we go. I'm gonna try to catch a fish in this mess. Look at these sharks! It's gonna be a miracle if I catch a fish. Here we go. Fish on! Come to the boat! Come to the boat! Is that a runner or a runner? Bring the sharks. What? Is that a runner the sharks? <laughs> Thanks, Megan. Jeez. Nice. The fish on, top, on top of it. I got to clean the lens. I'm sorry, but there's a million rainbow runners right here. I was just trying to weed through the mass of sharks, I the mass of runners, and get I, a rainbow. I did hook one, and I was uh, fiercely like pumping him in because of the sharks and stuff. And I'm only using 20 pound leader, so I actually accidentally popped the circle hook out of his mouth right by the boat. So I'm gonna try to get another. They're eating. Nice. <laughs> okay, okay. Get that fish in the boat. Keep that fish in the boat. Keep that fish in the boat. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Hang on. Okay, I'll hold it. Open well, the bail. Open the bail. Okay. Okay. I can pop right out. Then you go through the bar. Pull right okay. out real quick. Hold I'll on, do it. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me sit. I can't. I just fucking pull it out. It is to the bottom a little bit. It's not. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Crazy stuff's happening today to me. That really hurts now. <laughs> but I just got a keeper rainbow runner. Yeah. That was totally worth it. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's what I get for uh, flipping him in the boat and not waiting for the net because I was just like, get him in the boat, get him in the boat. And he hit me. And then when he hit me, it totally, I totally got hooked. It's not too terrible. Thank God. Could have been a lot worse. 
So that'll be a little bit sore the next couple days, but I'll live. And I've got a bunch of new ones all over my hand today, but that's part of fishing. And if you're going to be dumb, you got to be tough. But that was kind of like dumb on my part. So tighten up. Okay, guys, I'm still getting to test out my new uh, my new tsunami gear. This is my, what is this? This is the uh, armor. Okay, this is the armor spinning reel. This is the five or 6,000, it's 5,000 I believe. But once again, everything that I use will be in my Amazon store. So please check that out guys. But I love it so far, it really works. And the rod I have it paired with is the Tsunami Classic Series. And I'll have that once again in my store too. So check it out. And uh, this is typically for your it's typical inshore fishing. It's great for big snook and jacks and things like that. We're bringing it offshore today and catching beautiful rainbow runners on it. And let me just show you this fish. You can see, like, he's, while he's called a rainbow, he's kind of dying now, but he, they get all lit up. They're beautiful fish. They really don't have any teeth, uh, but they are really, really delicious to eat. And a lot of people mistaken them as like trash fish and give them to their dogs to eat or something else, but actually eat them. And you can have them as sushi. It's one of the top sushi grade fish. So when that other fish I hooked, he actually, when he came through my leg, he started shaking violently on my leg. So I know that I'm gonna have like a severe sore bruise down there. <laughs> All right, guys, so as you can see what I'm doing here, I got chunks over here from this bonito we caught, which is basically the same thing like yellowtail fishing. You want to chum up the waters to get the fish close to your boat. So we got a big school of yellow of rainbow runners by us. Now, I had, was using 30-pound fluorocarbon leader with a little bit a bigger hook, a 6 op mustad circle hook, and I was throwing it out there with the chunk, and the actual rainbow runners didn't even touch it. They swam right by it. So, but they're hungry. So that made me think like, hmm, let me go ahead and grade now. So put on 20 pound fluorocarbon leader and a four rot mustad circle hook. And I'm actually physically burying the bait inside the hook. So these fish are not going to see it whatsoever because they're leader shy today. And the water is very, very clear. So you just have to like adjust to what the fish want. And I noticed that they weren't eating it if the hook was exposed. So if the hook is kind of buried, if you can get it in there on a nice big chunk, it should be a better presentation for them and they're going to eat it right away. So kind of just like tease them up with other chunks. Let me fix that again. I don't like the way it looks because I want to see how it rests when it goes down in the water. And a couple times I just watched them swim up to it, take a bite and then spit it out. Like they knew that, the, that, they knew that it was a hook. It was fake. So like it's going to look like that in the water, which is pretty good. So now what I'm going to do is we're not, we're not actually chumming the waters except the Bonita right here. So what I'm gonna do is, I got my chunk ready. We got sharks everywhere. And I'm gonna take some chunks, just throw it out. And then once I see them eat it, I'm gonna set the hook and reel them in as fast as I possibly can. It's fun though. I'm gonna be better off with a J hook. Yeah, I gotta do that. You're right. Runner. Runner. Do you wanna try to catch one, Megan? Gotta weed through the runners here. Yeah. There you go, much like that. See, I saw he was the one with the yellow tail. Yeah. So you pull it away from the ones that don't have yellow tails, but you can give it to the ones that, you know, that are going to eat it. So. Oh. Nice job. You can tip up and you're going to pump on them. Keep your tip up. Yep. Perfect. Net, Brian. Net, Brian. Oh, we got side hooks. Nice job, Megan! Thank you! Hi, there, girl! Awesome! That's a bigger one, too. Yeah! But look what happened. He got actually side hooked in the gill plate, so that's why it's fought so hard. Oh, okay. When that happens, you have all this resistance against you. So yeah, you did a great see. job against all those sharks. That was a good job. Open your bail. One cool? more blue runner. I can go home. It's getting too late now. Never too late for fishing! Yes, it is. Never! Never! And when they're biting, it's better. Wait a second. All right, go. Go, 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 go. Nice. 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 Let him eat it. Let him eat it. Keep the tail open. Go. Set the hook. There you go. Now take your time. Good job, Megan. Right in the boat. <laughs> that is exactly how you do it. Making a fisherman out of her <laughs> real quick. She just brought him right in the boat. Good job. Over the bail. We got a solid fish. That's about five rainbow runners. You yep. got two. Alright, so great day of fishing. These ladies slayed it out there. We did. 
did pretty good considering summertime conditions and just dealing with the sharks. We caught fish and we yeah, have we dinner did. now. So we got, got quite a, a bunch of false albies, quite a bit. huge yeah. kingfish, yeah. all those dinner fish. And we went out to the Juno ledge today just to be more specific for you guys. I told them. Oh, I'm telling then, you. Well, if you didn't see that part, then you need to see this part. Anyway. <laughs> if you skip, don't skip anything. Yeah. Anyway, so thanks for watching the video. Watch another video if you like. And also for the Patreons, we have a couple videos on Patreon from when we were away from regular YouTube. So um, if you guys are interested in that, you know, hop on there and yeah. take a look. Um, you know, nothing too crazy, but a right. trip with the twins and stuff Some like Patreon that. Some Patreon-only videos for on Patreon.com specifically. So um, right. if you want more information about that, the information is down below. Check it out. But yeah, so we did that. And now I'm just looking forward to getting back out here on a regular basis and catching more fish with my sisters while they're in town. And it should be awesome. So I had a lot of fun with Megan today. I'm glad she's back home from the world race. So um, thank you guys. Once again, I want to tell you guys, thank you so much for supporting Megan last year when she was uh, asking for donations to help support her mission around the world yeah. um, for the world race. So that was really incredible of you guys. And I'll go ahead and link Megan's information down below if you'd like to check it out and see what she's already done. She's been to 10 different countries and she's done some amazing stuff. It's Meg Arahill on Instagram. Put it down here. Meg Arahill on Instagram. Yeah, yep, my handle. Yep, follow her there. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna and have videos with uh, with your other sister coming up, with Erin yep. and maybe Connor. Right. And so we got a lot of great stuff coming forward. Yes, exactly. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. We are very happy to be back from our little hiatus, our little break on oh, YouTube, yeah. which was totally not planned. We apologize <laughs> again, uh, but thank you for watching. And until our next adventure, follow, follow your, your dreams, dreams and, and keep, keep on catching. catching.